hello guys welcome to trady home and in today's tutorial i'll be showing you guys how to model cutting wall in agicad okay i will show you the simplest method on how to do this and the effective way on how to do this all right so let's proceed without wasting much of your time okay you can see this building is already looking different so i've made a copy of this building and um, i have an opening here so that means the first thing to do is for you to create your opening where you're going to place that particular cutting wall all right so after doing this the next step is your measurements you need to take measurements all right you need to take measurements so first one is click on south elevation where that particular um cutting wall is going to be okay click on that view for this one is the south elevation so once we click on the south elevation we can see the building now okay let me shift this one to where that particular building is okay so this is where that cutting wall is going to be so pick your measuring tape which is this one pick your measuring tape click from here to here let's see let's measure this point this is this is 2400 2475 2475 right so now this is the horizontal measurement right i want to divide those panels into four um, panels into four places so we have one here two three and four so after getting this measurement which is let's do that again let's do that again which is 2475 now let's go and you know segment those um, panels 2475 don't forget so this is our cutting wall click on this little arrow select this um generic cutting wall okay double click inside and now let's do the settings okay this particular settings this is the default settings okay this is the default setting so now we need to change this one to what we want okay so how to do that is click on this width this is width erase click on here click on this minus you're erasing every other width okay you're leaving one and then for the height we have one two three panel for the height we're not working on the height yet okay so delete this one so you do that by clicking on minus sign you click this one click this one so we only have one panel now okay now we want to insert that width okay remember the width is 2475 and we want four panels so that means we need to divide those particular uh, that particular width into four places so click this is not hard okay just follow carefully all right so click on let's select our calculator okay pick your calculator we have um okay 2475 divide by four we have 600 and okay we have 618 okay 618 618 so now go back to your um settings under cutting wall let's type in 618 under the width okay 618 You need to pay close attention okay and make sure that the figure here is okay 618 618 okay so this is 618 618 okay 618 now close okay let's check the height now the height now still on our front view our front elevation and then this is tape use your tape let's check the height from that point to this point we have 5219 5219 and how many panels do we want now for this one okay that will not determine on the measurement so click on your remember the measurement 5000 let's check that again together 5219 okay 5219 let's write that on our calculator okay so we don't forget okay 5219 okay let's leave this one here minimize okay go back to that setting dialog under the under the uh, under the cutting wall okay under this cutting wall the setting setting panel of uh, setting dialogs rather and then now now it depends on how many depends on how many partitions how many panels we want for the height okay let's check something from this one we have how many we have one two three four and five 
okay and for a reason for this is because this one now this is six this is like 600 okay and then here we are going to insert windows here we're going to insert windows here maybe on our next tutorial we're going to insert windows here so that people on this living room will be able to open this windows okay there will be windows here those two panels will be openable okay same thing with this one since there's a bedroom upstairs there's a bedroom here you can see that on the 3d okay this is the living room and this is a room upstairs okay so we need to create any such that someone living here can open these two panels and from the bedroom so from the living room someone can also open from here okay so let's go back to our south elevation if you check our calculator now you see that we have if you check our calculator now you see that we have we have 5219 okay so go back to this setting dialogues now let's type in the height for the height the first thing let's go with 600 okay and then we want to add another one that's this one is the ground one the next one now will be our window height okay so click on plus sign to add another panel then now type in the height the height let's go with 1500 okay and then let's add another one still another one that is the one that will be in between the deck okay so that will be that will be closing the deck and um, let's type in let's click on this plus sign to add another one so this one will be 600 again let's bring this on 600 and now we need to add another window plus sign again okay type in 1500 one five okay so you can see we have the ground one we have the window on the ground floor we have this one separating um covering the slab and then this one now we have another one five again okay that's another window so it's remaining the last one now okay but before you do that let's type in let's add another panel but we we'll increase the size height later this is the panel okay so for this one go back to this cutting wall click on this cutting wall right the height of that particular cutting wall is three meters so we are changing it to that five thousand which is here let's check our calculator five thousand two hundred and nineteen right so you type in five thousand two hundred and nineteen okay so go back now to this same okay so all we need here is um a total height of five thousand two hundred and nineteen and we have 600 we have one five we have 600 we have one five so go back to our calculator we are going to minus all these ones so anything that is left that's what we give this panel okay i hope you guys are following okay so click on this one 5000 minus this 600 now minus 600 okay minus one five which is this panel okay let me click on the calculator back minus which so which is one five minus one five okay minus this 600 minus 600 okay then minus this 15 again minus 1500 we have 1019 left 1019 so we are going to type in this last panel as 1000 okay as 1019 1019 okay 1019 and then click okay okay now let's draw that particular um cutting wall click on your story on your plan view now let's draw that particular panel okay all right so let me show you something check your 3d <laughs> it's looking funny right this is how we started before we got here all right so there's the same thing we're going to do here now you can see this one is down because the story is down but we need to dip this one up so click on south elevation all right make sure you're paying close attention okay and then move this one up move this one up to this point to this point you can hold down your shift button to be sure that your lines are straight okay all right all right okay so let's check our 3d again now now if you check very well you see that this one is showing uh mullion the mullions are outside these mullions are outside these vertical frames you're seeing these mullions are outside and if you check this other one 
it's only the glass that's outside while these mullions are inside all right so let's do it like this okay so click on click on this one okay click on your setting dialogs again now let's work on the frames okay let's work on the frames click here this mullion frame this is the vertical one okay click on the click on this little arrow right so instead of this built in frame select this built in bot glaze frame okay you click on this one double click okay and then click on this transform transform is the vertical ones okay click on this transform frames click and select the same built in bot glaze frame double click all right and now let's see corner frame we don't have corner frame because you can only select this one when you have an angle okay let's say your work you want to glaze it plus the angle area that's when you select this corner frame okay but we don't need this we don't need this one so but um let's just select this one in case <laughs> uh there's no need but just select it maybe you may want to change it on your own i don't know if you're modeling anyone that has that corner okay you can select this one too and then boundary frame this one there's no need don't worry about this one because we're not working on anything like that um but you can still select this one okay in case just select it so now click on click ok and see what we have you can see everything is inside now okay everything is inside and for the color the transparency is not showing and the reflection is not showing though we don't need reflection now we just need transparency so we can see the thickness of these uh mullions okay so click on this one let's change the color of the material let's change the material to glass All right so under frames click on this mullion okay and click on cutting wall settings change this material from metal to glass you can see glass blue glass blue click on this one and then click on this um under transform let's change no 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 this should be under panel sorry okay under panel under panel under panel okay click because under panel want to change the panels not the frames so click on that panel select this particular ones okay change them and then go it's already on glass blue okay now this this stick panel click on it same thing click on these ones all right change them and then select um glass blue too okay but before then if you click ok now you see that everything is showing okay everything is showing now but we need to change the frames the frames are also glass material because we initially selected glass so change this frame this one change it to metal okay you can see metal paint or metal ion let's check for metal okay this is metal ion click on it and check under this mullion change it to metal metal ion too okay this is metal ion click okay now click okay you can see it's metal ion but these mullions look very thick they look very thick very very thick while these ones look a bit tinier okay this one is 50, um, 100 by 50 thickness while this one is almost 200 by 180 thickness mm -hmm. so we need to change this one okay click on how to do that is to click on the frame um, on the complete cotton wall and then click on the setting dialogs let's change the frame thickness okay click on the um this mullion frame type and geometry click under it you see where it's showing 190 this 190 change it to 100 let's see 100 and then here 110 okay while this one change it to 50 this 80 change it to 50 okay let's see how it's going to look click okay you can see now what we have okay so this is how to you can see the difference you can't spot any difference now because everything is the same you can see we have 600 we have 15 we have this one covering the slab area okay while this one so these two ones these two ones you're seeing are going to be windows while this one is going to be windows so we'll do this on our next tutorial okay so i don't waste much of your time on this particular video so this is how to model um cutting wall in akikai all right and if you find the video helpful please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any question at all regarding cutting wall Make sure you drop it in the comment section. I'll turn our tips to your questions, okay? Thank you. See you on our next tutorial.